Uh, it is my pleasure that I can make a presentation on historical analysis of the color diffraction technology development in China. Mm, let, uh, let me introduce myself first. I am an economist, not chemical engineer, nor chemist. My major is analysis of China's economy with a special emphasis on historical development. I made a tentative presentation uh, on this issue, namely a historical analysis of the global liquefaction technology development in China in uh, two years ago, namely in 12th International Conference on the History of Chemistry, which was held in Maastricht, Holland in, nine, in 2019. Um, this is only a uh, tentative uh, presentation and uh, uh, March this year, I made a final paper, and today's pre presentation is outline of this uh, paper, the final one. Okay. And this is the outline of historical development. And this is a little bit uh, confusing, so, uh, Maybe later it is more clear. First, I have to say that Japan's oil resources has been very poor. And pre-war Japan sought to produce oil from coal, not only in Japan, but also in Manchukuo. Uh, Manchukuo may be not familiar with you. Uh, Manchukuo was a puppet nation established by pre-war Japan in the Northeast region of China. Um, in Manchukuo, uh, five liquefaction plants were constructed, uh, namely Fushun, Chirin, and Mukden by direct liquefaction, and Jinzo in direct liquefaction, long temperature carbonization, Supinche. In the new China, which was established in 1949, Fushun plant, Fushun, this one, Fushun, Fushun. Fushun plant became the technical center of hydrogenation and the oil refinery plant. Chilean plant was converted to methanol plant. Mukden plant was converted to chemical plants, including agricultural chemicals. Supinchi plant was converted to chemical plants, including carb carbide and PVC. And Jinzo plant was utilized as a coal liquefaction plant by the indirect method. Among the five, uh, among the above five plants, Fushun plant was the one of the pre-war Japan spent national resources mostly to develop the technology. Hydrogen adding, namely hyd hydrogenation is the key process of the direct liquefaction technology. And this hydrogen adding technology of Fushun plant was inherited to the new China. This is because Dutch in oil is very heavy because the property of Dutching oil is quite similar to the property of coal. Dutching oil had been the major oil of China, covering more than half of the national demand at the time. And hydrogen adding technology of fusion contributed a lot to the processing of the heavy Dutching oil. Thus, fusion became the technical center of China's hydrogen adding technology. China continued to develop the hydrogen adding technology even in the days of Macedon for the processing of heavy touching oil. Jinzhou mm, plant was the only plant used as the coal liquefaction plant by the new government of China. When but 
When Dachin oil field was dis discovered, however, Jinzo plant was also converted to the chemical plants, including phenol, carbide, PVC, etc. This is because the production cost of oil from Jinzo plant was very heavy, very high. As a result, coal liquefaction technology was not developed in the days of the planning economy. Um, in, in 1978, China adopted the new policy of economic reform and open door. In 1979, the central government of China dispatched a delegation headed by Wang Xinsan to Japan, requesting the technical cooperation for the modernization of China. Wang Xinsan was the main responsible during 1949 to 1952 for the reconstruction of Fushun Industrial Complex. The, uh, Fushun uh, had been the central industrial region of Manchukuo. Owing to the successful reconstruction of Fushun Industrial Complex, he was promoted to the central government. He had co-worked uh, intimately with do your do your engineers uh, for the economic reconstruction of the new China, and he highly evaluated the technical development ability of do your engineers. Do your engineers may be not familiar for you. Uh, do your engineer uh, here? It is uh, I have written here. Uh, uh, engineers. Uh, Japanese engineers of Manchukuo who remained in China after the war for the reconstruction of China's economy. They stayed in China until the five first, uh, five, five first year plan. In this five year, uh, first five year plan, the USSR uh, aid China. So US, USSR uh, requested China uh, that uh, Japanese engineers should go back to Japan. So uh, Ryo engineers uh, back to Japan uh, when the first five-year plan started. Wang Shin-san met uh, Ryo engineers with who worked together for the economic reconstruction fusion during 1949 to 1952. And he asked them, and, uh, asked your engineers to cooperate once again for China's new policy of economic reforms and open door policy. Do your engineers agreed to accept the request of Wang Xinxian and visit China with a proposal for the modernization of China. Coal liquefaction is one of the project proposed to China with, with a special emphasis. China accepted this proposal and asked the Japanese government to cooperate with China in developing coal liquefaction technology. Japanese government agreed to cooperate with China to develop the technology assigning NEDO, namely New Energy Development Organization for, corporate, for uh, cooperation. Mm. Uh, 
Um, most of you um, not familiar with NEDO. NEDO uh, is a uh, new energy development organization which was newly established in 1980 and started cooperation with China uh, in three terms. First, construction of 0.1 ton per day laboratory plant as donation. Second, data accumulation of the type of coals for 10 years. Three, R&D for the promising, promising catalysts. Uh, moreover, NEDO invited uh, engineers, Ch Chinese engineers for the technical research education and training in Japan. Uh, Priva Japan distressed China and damages China's economy and people. But after war, Japan uh, gave a lot of aid and support for China. Uh, China, however, do not mention about on the aid, on the aid and support by Japan. Uh, but Chinese references wrote as follows. Uh, yeah. Uh, Dr. Lian Shipu, uh, he wrote as follows. When preliminary R&D started in sixth five-year plan and the seventh five-year plan. Second, China established the basic technology through the technical cooperation for 20 years with foreign companies. So we can say that preliminary R&D during 1980s corresponds with the technical cooperation with the engineers and the NATO. And second, technical cooperation for 20 years with foreign companies correspond with the technical cooperation with NATO. Then feasibility study uh, uh, started. One ton per day process development unit was successfully operated in eighth five-year plan. Three feasibility studies were conducted during ninth five-year plan. One is in the Mongolia, uh, Shenhua Coal and Cooperation with NATO. Sec uh, second one is Yunnan, Shenfang Coal, and cooperation with Germany. Three is Heilongjiang, Yian Coal and cooperation with NATO also. Among the above three candidates, Inner Mongolia with Shenhua Coal and Yunnan with Xinfen Coal were promising. Finally, Mongo Mongo In Inner Mongolia with Shenhua Coal was selected and it was, it was decided to construct the large scale commercial plant in Inner Mongolia in 10th five year plan. Uh, NATO's cooperation terminated in the year 2000. After the year 2000, China continued R&D of coal liquefaction by herself. And China succeeded to scale up the process development unit from one ton per day to six ton per day during 10th five-year plan and constructed 
six ton per day process development unit in Shanghai. Since operation of the six ton per day process development unit in Shanghai was satisfactory, China started construction of the first large scale commercial plant in Oldos in the Mongolia in 2005. Uh, in, 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 uh, Construction of the first large scale plant was completed in 2008 and started commercial operation in 2011. But a new problem arose. It was the wastewater problem. China's environmental policy has been uh, severe during 11th five-year plan. This was the year of the Olympic game. When the new Aldous plant was constructed, uh, wastewater from direct liquefaction process contains a lot of harmful materials of coal. Small amount of wastewater such as in Priva Manchukuo or Priva Germany or in Priva, Priva Japan. Wastewater would be diluted in the river, but large amount of wastewater from one million ton per year plant caused the serious environment, environmental problem. Energy efficiency of direct liquefaction is said to be 60% to 70% 70, uh, 70 while indirect liquefaction is as low as 40 to 45%. As a result, both Germany and Japan gave priority to direct liquefaction. The period between construction completion uh, 2008 and commercial operation 2011 may be the time for the treatment of the wastewater. Uh, now, as, as, as is explained later, current water, uh, yeah, wastewater in all this is very clean. But I will ex explain later once again. Uh, here, let's review briefly China's environmental policy. In the days of socialist China, uh, it is said that there exists no pollution in socialist nations, but uh, there, China also had a serious uh, pollution problems in early days. Namely, Prime Minister Zhou Enlai perceived, perceived existence of pollution problems and dispatch, dispatched a delegation to attend the UN, UN conference on the human uh, environment, which was held in 17, uh, 1972 in Stockholm. Next year, the, five, the first uh, environmental protection conference was held in Beijing. Uh, the second environmental protection conference was held in 1983, the third in 1989, and fourth in 1996. Tenth five-year plan for the first time targeted 10% decrease of pollution materials. Despite these environmental protection policies of the central government, China's environment, of environment deteriorated year by year. Central government environment policy was severely strengthened from 11th five-year plan onward. 
The first coal liquefaction plant was completed in the year two, uh, 2008. Uh, this was the uh, year of, uh, in, this, in this year, uh, in Beijing Olympic was held. So uh, Chinese government had, was very eager to, to prevent uh, pollution. And uh, discharged a lot of harmful substances contained in coal. It was reported by the visitors to Olros that rivers in Olros was seriously polluted, and foreigners' visit was said to be basically forbidden. According to the explanation by the general manager in Maine. Uh, in the year 2019, uh, this year uh, I visited Orson and I met the general manager of Aldos. Uh, he said that the wastewater is now used as boiler water and can be used as a beverage safely. But this kind of wastewater problems uh, uh, a great um, a big amount of money uh, was necessary to for the reduction of the impurities of the uh, wastewater so as a result shift from the direct process to indirect process Although energy eff efficient is inferior, indirect liquefaction has advantage in the treatment of wastewater. Harmful substances are removed in the process of gasification. And removal of harmful substances is easy and economic in indirect liquefaction. Therefore, uh, succeed, succeeding uh, coal liquefaction plants adopted in direct liquefaction technology. Uh, Shenhua is also planning to construct an indirect liquefaction plant in Ordos. At the same time, Shenhua is also planning to construct a modified direct liquefaction plant, which increases energy efficiency and reduces wastewater treatment cost. Uh, this table shows in 19, uh, no, uh, in 2014, uh, indirect method called liquefaction projects. There are uh, nine uh, projects and no new direct pro uh, direct process liquefaction projects. Okay, let's skip here. Next, uh, I would I would like to uh, explain about the vi my visit to Ordos. It is very lucky that I have visited May uh, 2019, this coal liquefaction plant in Ordos, together with uh, Dr. Ashida of Kyoto University. Owing to the kind arrangement by the Mitsui Chemicals Beijing office, Ordos plant is principally disclosed to foreigners, but China seemed to have propagated a good Japan-China relation since Sino-US conflicts has been intensified, according to Mitsui Chemicals Beijing office. Dr. Ashida is an uh, excellent scientist, highly evaluated as the excellent researcher of the direct method called the defection 
both in Japan and in the United States. Uh, he, uh, he had been in Pennsylvania University. Mitsui Chemical Space Office succeeded to arrange Japan-China round table conference on the direct method, on the, uh, on the direct method called liquefaction technology in Ordos. This uh, meeting was possible because of Dr. Ashida of Kyoto University. And this is the uh, picture of that uh, meeting. Uh, right side is Japan and uh, left side is, uh, is Ordos. According to the general manager, Mr. Wan of Ordos plant, construction started in the year 2005 and mechanical completion was December uh, 2008. After three years of technical improvement, the new plant has been operating well up to now. After Three years of the technical improvement. Oh, okay, yes. After the discussion meeting in the room, uh, Mr. Wang kindly showed us around the factory, but photography prohibited. He told that the quality of wastewater was very bad at the beginning, uh, at the beginning time of trial run, but. Uh, the wastewater problem was settled through additional investment supported by the central government. Uh, currently, the wastewater is changed into the pure water and reused for the boiler. Uh, the wastewater is drinkable now. Uh, this, uh, this was the place uh, Mr. Wang is, ex is explaining us uh, the uh, wastewater. Uh, let's review. Uh, soon I will conclude my, my presentation. Let's review post-war R&D of coal uh, liquefaction. Technology to produce oil by coal was developed by pre-war Germany and Japan, both of which have scarce oil resources. The cost of pre-war coal liquefaction was very high, but both countries accepted the high cost under the, war, under the wartime regime. The key of post-war R&D of coal liquefaction was how to reduce the cost. Oil price stayed at a low level, however, after the war for a long time, resulting in impediment to R&D in both Germany and Japan. In China, however, R&D of hydrogenation was continued for the heavy touching oil. So in only in China, R&D was continued. Uh, here, uh, I will uh, make a summary. It seems that China's success, China's success in the technical development owes much to the petrochemical technology, which has been developed after World War II. Both Germany and Japan were late comers in petrochemicals, and the petrochemical companies of Germany and Japan do not have an in interest in coal liquefaction. 
development of the world petrochemical industry after World War II has been brought mostly by US companies. And US companies, including HDI and Mobil, were said to have contributed a lot to the development of coal for liquefaction technology in China. Uh, concluding, China newly started to develop coal liquefaction technology with the help of Japan in early 1980s and to continue to catch up during 1990s and 19, uh, 1980s and 1990s, obtaining collaboration of Germany and USA beside Japan. Uh, China has succeeded in catching up the pre-war technical level of Japan and Germany during 1980s and 1990s, and finally surpassed Japan, Germany, and USA in the 21st century. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. Thank you, Dr. Takeshi. Uh, thanks for your presentation. Uh, any questions from audience? If not, we'll go ahead with the next presentation. So, uh, the next presentation is uh, Manohar M, NGSM Institute of Pharmaceutical Sciences, India. And the presentation title is Fabrication and Evaluation of Questin and Beta Carotene Loaded Nano Emulsions for Improved Oral Bioavailability and Therapeutic Efficacy in Diabetes Mellitus. Uh, Rakesh, can you stop sharing your screen? Okay. Yeah, so the uh, next I'm, presenter, next presenter will have, be able to share. I'm sorry, I, 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 I don't have, have to wait just a minute. Maybe so just a minute. I. How how can I uh, just uh, okay. maybe yes done it's done 